So the first one is the event that happened in 2017, because I just mentioned that he applied a asylum ap application. He submitted his asylum application in September 6, 2017, United States government. Okay. And that time he hired uh, a uh, law firm and this law firm called Cahi uh, sorry, um, Cahill. Oh, sorry, not Cahill, a uh, Clock Hill, sorry, Clock Hill. And it is actually a very prominent Washington, D.C. law firm. And they're actually really close with the located, you know, with vicinity, basically a stone throw to the White House. Okay. So by nature of that location, they have a lot of prominent clients. They're influential clients. So six days after he submitted his asylum application through the legal representation of Clark Hill, CCP, state-sponsored hacker, took down the entire computer system of that law firm. And guess what? Over 500 computers shut down. Hmm. Okay? The CCP wants this law firm to drop Miles School as a client. And guess what? They're very satisfied because the law firm did drop Miles School as a client after this hacking. And of course, Miles School's personal information was leaked on the internet. Okay, by the CCP, but I was worried. But you know what? There's other information they can use as leverage by the Chinese Communist Party because of the type of clients they have, right? Because all those government, you know, what's the best place to get all those sensitive and confidential information other than legal law firm, right? All so, right. so CCP have all of those things on their hand, but that's just to show you how much, how how like how how extreme you know, uh, they want to go, how far they want to go to actually stop a law from representing Miles School.